wow, it seems like it's just been a long time since that. We, uh, you know, we got through the pandemic, thankfully, and we've been, been busy touring. We missed you, Japan, so we're super excited to come back. I rejoined for the 2022 uh, LP and tour, and it was great. We had a blast, so we uh, it was a pretty busy year. Right, and recording a record, and then uh, toured all summer in Europe, some state stuff, and uh, it was great. And 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 uh, 21, Doug, how was that? 21 was, was cool too. We had, uh, you know, coming out of the pandemic, so we were doing some dates, getting a little bit out there, but it wasn't until we got Brian Tishy back that things started to really cook. That's for now. Yeah, we were we we're full. We we're at full speed. So it's life greatly improved since yes. I was a and just for the record, for 21 and 22 for me, I got promoted to the night manager at 7 Eleven. <laughs> so I'm, life is good. It's a place that leaves no regrets. Cross the ball. I just kind of, just from my observations, I think that people were already kind of addicted to their phones and different things like that. Now it's become, because of the social distancing and the fact that people had absolutely zero to do that they've become even more reliant on their phones. Like, that's weird, I was just at a restaurant a couple of weeks ago and I was just literally sat and I looked at, around the restaurant and every person in the restaurant was just glued to their phone while their whole family sat glued to their phones. And um, I don't know, man, it's, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people just kind of, what's that I, I, word? I really haven't noticed that at all. Really, as far as the phones go, I know it's weird, weird. I, it, but I, it's just an observation that I make. I think every week, <laughs> every week we don't hear about COVID is, is great. It feels because that was pretty stressful when all that happened. So you hear less and less about it, and that just makes it better and better. I know because the hot dog sales at the 7 Eleven did drop dramatically. So many over the years, we've, we've all spent a lot of time in Japan, and, and you know the uh, the bullet train rides, the the, the, the shrines, the, the audiences is always great. And Brian came up with a saying. What was it? Everything in, is better in Japan. Like everything's better. Yeah, life I, is better, and we I, love it. I, I spent uh, four months solid there playing with uh, bees. Everybody knows bees there, and. Uh, that was great. I had a great time there and I got to know Japan a lot more than I ever had. And I've been going there since like 1994. Uh, yeah, it's safe in Japan. Everybody's kind, everybody's respectful. Everybody's just like keeps about their business. And uh, yeah, man, it's, a, it's, it's one of my favorite places to go. I can't tell you about my trips to Japan. Um, the ones with the daisies were awesome. I can talk about that, but they're really, really super memorable ones with this Motley <laughs> crew and so we're, we're celebrating kind of a 10th anniversary uh, this year for the Dead Daisies so the, the show is like nothing we've done before which is covering the entire catalog um, choice songs we're picking cover the whole the whole period from the very start with the uh, whole kit and caboodle the yeah. whole spectrum if you may it's like a spec it's like a kit and a caboodle within a spectrum <laughs> that's, that's you know we're going right from the, the kit to the caboodle and, and it's a spectrum now yes I'm yeah gonna and this, it's going to be awesome because we're covering the entire catalog and the songs that i can't sing ryan's going to teach me how to speed bag and i'm just going to do that while they play that's what we work on today exactly Mexico. Japan, we love you guys. Uh, you've actually been following all of us and the Dead Daisies. Uh, it's been amazing for the last 10 years. Uh, we're really looking forward to coming back and playing with you again, playing for you and with you. And um, just, we appreciate it. We love you and uh, we are extremely excited to come back. Can't wait. It's just going to be an incredible tour. We've got Two shows, uh, October 31st in Osaka and November 1st in Tokyo. And you can check out uh, 
deaddaisies.com for details. And just for the record, sorry, Brian. No, just I'm, for I'm, the record, I'm, I'm, uh, as Doug said, Osaka, but we're at Omida Quattro in Osaka on October 31st. And on November 1st, we're at Spotify O East in Tokyo. Now you can do it. Okay, now it's close it. No, I'm, I'm psyched. Bring it home, buddy. I'm Bring sorry. it home. I, I, it, it's Pen Rocks. <laughs>